The question says uh, a glass tube sealed at both the ends is 100 cm long. Uh, it lies horizontally with the middle 10 cm containing mercury. Now let us first of all draw the diagram what is it is saying that this is basically a glass tube. It is somewhat like this probably. Yeah. And uh, it contains mercury at the center 10 cm. Right. This is all mercury. Now the entire length is 100 cm. And in the middle it is 10 cm. Right. Now it is in the middle that means this must be 45. Right. 45 cm and this should also be 45 cm. Now right now it is the entire tube is at 27 degrees Celsius. This is 27 degrees Celsius and this is also 27 degrees Celsius. Now afterward what happens is that you know this tube now this mercury shifts somewhere it can shift either right or left let us assume that it has shifted right uh, left and towards the distance x so that means this distance what will be this this would be 45 minus x right because earlier it was 45 now the mercury has shift x towards the right so basically now this entire length would be what 45 plus x right now let us assume that this is compartment one this is compartment this is also compartment one now this is two and this is two right right so basically this is zero degree celsius compartment this now becomes 127 degrees celsius am i right because uh, it is shown that two ends of the tube contain air at 27 degrees celsius and a pressure of 76 centimeter of mercury the air column on one side is maintained at zero degrees celsius this is basically the zero degrees celsius and the other side is maintained at 127 degrees celsius this side is 127 degrees celsius calculate the length of the air column on the cooler side so basically on the cooler side we have to calculate the length of the air column in the compartment one neglect the changes in the volume of the mercury and that of the glass right so basically there must be some air which is contained in this column and in second part as well now when we have reduced the temperature what happens is the volume also reduces right but the number of moles of the gas contained in container one will be equal to the number of moles in container one earlier and afterwards because no gas leak is taking place so now basically what uh, we have to do is uh, like number of moles in one in container one what will happen to the number of moles in container one earlier number of moles was p into v let us suppose the pressure was p naught into v what was the volume 45 into area area of the tube this is the volume divided by the temperature temperature was 300 kelvin into r right this should be equal to latter basically the number of moles afterwards when it is zero degree celsius let us assume that the pressure is p1 and what is the volume 45 minus x into a divided by of 273 into r right so basically we can equate both these things because the number of moles will be same right now this is equation one now if i talk about the number of moles in two and basically compartment two so what i can write i can write that p naught into 45 into a same as that in one right because 300 into a into r because the pressure was same in both the compartments earlier and uh, the volume was also same and the temperature was also same but now what has happened is let us assume this is p2 pressure in you know the second the compartment is p2 what will be the volume 45 plus x into a divided by of 400 r right so i can cancel these two things right now we also know that because you know mercury is over here it is uh, basically shifted to somewhere at an equilibrium position if this is equilibrium that means pressure in this compartment should be equal to the pressure in this compartment that means p1 should be equal to p2 that right so basically what we can do is we can divide the first equation with the second equation and use the third equation in that right if we divide these two equations what will i get i will get one will be equal to basically uh, p1 by p2 
into 45 minus x divided by of 45 plus x into 400 by 272 right so now since p1 is equals to p2 so i can cut these two things now from this equation we can calculate the value of x now from this equation if you calculate the value of x x would come out to be approximately 8.49 right now it is asking the length of the air column on the cooler side so basically we have to calculate what 45 minus x which will come out to be 36.51 centimeter so this is the answer right so basically you know uh, the question was not tough again as we have seen in uh, you know earlier questions question was not tough but the problem was going in a systematic manner and not you know and not you should not be afraid after seeing the question you know how will i solve it just go step by step in a proper manner and you will be able to solve it